Hi, my name is Lori Bauer, and I'm an early childhood special education teacher at the Spirit Lake Elementary. And I'm here today to talk a little bit about SMART. Um, SMART is a program we began in the elementary a year ago. SMART actually is an acronym that stands for Stimulating Maturity Through Accelerated Readiness Training. And it's an awesome program, kind of an out-of-the-box program. Um, and the, its overriding goal is to improve test scores, improve children's cognitive abilities, and, and ultimately their reading and math and all those kinds of things. Why SMART was created is because um, they were finding that students are neurologically underdeveloped. Their neurological systems are not quite where we think they should be when they're entering their school years. And this is happening for a lot of reasons. Um, kids are not as active as they used to be, and there's lots of reasons for that. It starts at infancy. Kids are in the, in the car seat and in the um, walkers and all those kinds of things, and they aren't getting the tummy time. They aren't developing through those natural progression of stages, starting with infancy. When they get older, they're plugged into video games. They're not out climbing trees and rolling down the hill and things like we used to do. And so we're finding that they have neurological delays in four major areas. Their vision, their auditory systems, their sensory systems, and their reflex systems. And so basically, kind of that lays the groundwork for all the rest of our learning. And when that groundwork isn't in place, it impacts everything else all the way down the line. So what SMART is designed to do, it's a series of um, gross motor and fine motor kinesthetic movements designed to get kids neurologically up to speed. Um, there's a set of core activities that our kids engage in. I actually brought some pictures to kind of show um, some of the kinds of things that we do in SMART. We do things like helicopter spinning. We do things like a pencil roll. Um, thumbkins, which is a visual thing of bringing your thumb in and out from your nose. Alligator crawl, which is alternating left and right um, through that body and, and body awareness. Overhead ladder, kids um, more and more, that upper body strength is lacking. Basic vision, where you use a trouble light and flash it on and off so the eye has to adjust, um, dilate, and, and constrict, and do those kinds of things. They're finding when kids spend a lot of time looking at a two-dimensional screen that they lose the ability to shift their eye focus quickly. So if a child's working at a table or a desk and the teacher says, look up at the board, it could take up to 10 seconds for their eyes to refocus. Obviously, they're going to lose content during that time. Um, creep track. Creep track is a huge one, especially at the early elementary level, where you have, um, you're going to reinforce cognitive skills, you know, letter naming, color naming, numbers, math facts, anything. And they're in a program mat on the floor. The child slaps it, says it, crawls down. So you're, you're getting a visual, you're getting a kinesthetic because you're hitting, you're getting an auditory, you're crossing left and right brain, you get a big bang for your buck on this one. Balance beam, anything that has to do with the vestibular system, things like that. Um, there are a variety of other activities too, a lot of fine motor kinds of things, a lot of auditory things, but the whole idea is that you do these things um, on a daily basis and it helps those neurological systems develop. And when those neurological systems develop, then the brain is free to start acquiring new content and new knowledge, and that way our kids do better.